please make welcome the talented duo, Bad Cat. Uh, we're thrilled to be here. The Whit Theater's been amazing to us, so uh, we're, we're just absolutely delighted to be here. So thank you so much for the warm welcome. Uh, to get us started, can we please have a suggestion of anything at all? Bubbles. Elevator. Bubbles. First date. I, I think I heard bubbles first. Great. Bad Cat presents bubbles. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, disappeared. <laughs> the rabbit disappeared. Nice. Jonathan, another evening, another wonderful party. Mm -hmm. uh, but these guys, we can't have them back here. I oh. mean, honestly. Yes. Let's be honest. The, the, they're shitting all over the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, you saw her in one third, in one third. Good, good, good. good. It's bullshit. <laughs> what is that? Margaret, we decided to have magic dice. <laughs> you said we'd open it to the community. Yes, yes, yes. You take the good, you take the bad. Uh, it's just that I want people to come into our home and be impressed with everything that we have to offer. Our our wonderful china, you know, our rugs made out of bare faces. <laughs> Everything that we have. It's a magic show. It's for children. It's so far. It is so far, Margaret. So I know that. You know that. I watched him drop his finger when he put the knife over it. And then later he went like this, and then went, oh shit. Yes. <laughs> yes, it was on. So not even poor technique, but just bad tricks. Who runs a knife over their finger? That's not yeah. a yeah. I'm going to cut off my finger now. That's what he said. Everybody looked at each other and went, what is this shit? I saw the mayor, he's sitting right over there. He went, what is this shit? <laughs> oh, very oh, good, very good. Yes, Greensboro, welcome to you. Very good job, gentlemen. <laughs> See your way to the parlor for cookies and punch. Everybody, everybody go ahead. To the parlor. To the parlor, please, Mr. Mayor. No, no need to take off the hat. <laughs> Very good. On your way, then. On your way. On your way, Mr. Mayor. What the fuck? I know, this is embarrassing. Jonathan. You look good. Oh, my cravat. <laughs> no, but really, that's all that's important, is that people enjoy our company. You know, perhaps we can share with them, you know, this experience of hating something so much. <laughs> it brings them together. It brings them together, but it also poses the question, should we get back into magic? <laughs> <laughs> we said we'd never do it again since the incident, but I feel like if there's a time, it's now. These are new folks, it's a new town, we have a new Manson. <laughs> Man, it's just the memory of our son. <laughs> ah, sweet boy. We shouldn't have involved him in our tricks. He <laughs> was a good boy. <clears throat> Who knows where he is? He's probably floating. He disappeared. In the he disappeared. He disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Still alive, he just wants to honor the trick because since he was a baby, the one thing we said is never break the illusion. What? <laughs> we knew we had this gift. Every six or seven or possibly eight times we do a trick, it really is magic. <laughs> and I thought I was keeping count, I thought we were at five. But we must have hit that six to eight window. <laughs> And then we got lazy. Yes. Oh, my baby boy. <laughs> I hope he comes back. I'm, I really am dying to know where do they go, you know? Where do they go? <laughs> He's out there with nibbles. Every time we put a pet or one of our own children in that aquarium and fill it with water, in seventh grade, try and disappear to another plane, I imagine. Or six. Or six. <laughs> if you can hear me, if like maybe you're encompassing this room somehow, 
I don't know, did you turn into a bunch of little particles that floated around and were breathing you in? <laughs> Do you watch us make love? <laughs> Do you think about that every Peter, time? don't. Don't. <laughs> That's not something we want to see. We didn't get to teach you about that before. <laughs> you disintegrated or whatever. <laughs> <sighs> we could try again. We could have another child. <laughs> What's more important, going back into magic or starting a family again? <laughs> Margaret, to me, you know, family comes first. I know I'm 42. <laughs> Uh, past the age when, you know, ladies are supposed to get pregnant. What, what is it? You hit 40 and then all of a sudden your babies are fucked up. <laughs> 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 it's not a clear science, but it's around the bunch, yeah. I mean, today's top scientists, the, the, the top scientists of 1944 say, if you yes. have a baby post 40 yes. <laughs> then it's more likely to be <laughs> Look, I picked up a pamphlet. It says, fucked? Question mark? Don't have babies past 40. Yes, there's a nice uh, woman at 39. And, and she's got a thumbs up. up. Yeah. <laughs> 40's got a thumbs Four. down. <laughs> but we could try. You know, we're different than other people. Obviously, we have magic. Obviously, we have some sort of gift ever since we... Killed that gypsy. We have the talent. We have the talent. Some people might call it a curse, but, but really, I mean, do you remember the first time? Oh, yes. I think it was Bubbles, mm -hmm. the small cat. <laughs> yes. Wearing a bow tie. New Orleans, 1932. Bubbles, the small cat, wearing a bow tie, enters an aquarium, fill it with water. Put the curtain in front of the aquarium. Normally we watch the cat leave through that back trap door. <laughs> Somehow no water gets out, but the cat gets out. <laughs> yeah, even that feels like true magic. <laughs> <laughs> can I be, Marvin, can I be honest? I don't know how a lot of our tricks work. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Jeremiah, our engineer. He designs these things, and I just figured... Yes. From Houdini's grasp into our home, we were lucky enough to stumble upon him on the yes. highway. Oh, Jeremiah. <laughs> so important. Did, he, did we disappear him too? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jeremiah, do you mind getting out of this aquarium? Of course not, Mr. Pittman. Good, good boy. <laughs> yeah, we didn't. Yes. Let's <laughs> <laughs> try number seven. Peter, 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 Piper, Peter, Pepper. Peter, Peter, Piper, Peter, Pepper. Peter, Piper, Peter, Pepper, please, my son, come back to us. <laughs> Peter, pick your parents. Peter, Peter. It didn't work last time you tried it. I don't think that tongue twisters is the way we get our tongue. <laughs> willing to try anything, Margaret. I'm willing to try. <laughs> Well, that settles it then. We're, we're agreed. We'll give it another shot. Which one, Matt, or family? <laughs> Perhaps this child shall be born with whatever magic we have shall encompass his organs. Ooh. <laughs> 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 I wonder if we could sell ourselves to science. <laughs> Think about that. I mean, if people knew our secret, they would. Mm -hmm pay any amount of money to study our bodies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See if we can find a scientific explanation behind the fact that we can disappear things every six, seventh, or eighth time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a matter of time, it's math. Yes, it's true. But I don't know why would we sell ourselves. Look at all the money we have. Look at our bare face rugs. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever wonder what they did with the rest of the bear? <laughs> no. <laughs> if I think about things like that, I Horrible night. <laughs> you know, just the man who was commenting earlier, he said, I love how the bare face rug is all bare faces, but in the shape and pattern of a bare body. Yes. <laughs> it's interesting. And then, in the place where a bare face would be, they used bare faces to make the bare face. <laughs> Two eyes made out of bare face. <laughs> and then a bunch of polar bare faces make the white teeth. <laughs> 
<laughs> Truly, we have a remarkable mansion. I'm yes, <laughs> 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 Jeremiah, come in here. Jeremiah, yes, come in. Yes, sir. Houdini commands you enter. Oh, okay. Uh, hello, sir. I'm sorry that I'm late. I uh, was working on a trap where uh, if you... Uh, oh. 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 <laughs> a trap? Go on. Uh, it's a trap where uh, if you unscrew it and open it up and stick your leg in, your leg will then turn into a horse leg. You pull it out, you got a horse leg. <laughs> 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 Take me for a rube, Jeremiah. Do I look like a rube? I'm running out of ideas, Houdini. <laughs> I'm running out of ideas. You've done it all. Except for horse leg. <laughs> I'm not going to be known as horse leg Houdini. <laughs> I won't. Houdini starts Quick, punch me in the stomach as hard as you can. <laughs> <laughs> just watch, just watch. <laughs> I have a lot of built up aggression, so. You ask me to do something like that, I'm going to go all at it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I've done the milk bottle. I've done the milk bottle. I've been chained upside down on the side of the skyscraper. Yes. What's next? What's next for Houdini? Well, we could start with horse legs. <laughs> 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 I'm going to all the body parts. Pregnant. <laughs> Pregnant horse leg. No. Wait, what? <laughs> Come see Harry Houdini become pregnant. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. Is this like a trick that you do over the span of nine months? <laughs> <laughs> one night only. No. Don't, it's not see the progression of birth over nine months. It's one night only. Harry Houdini becomes pregnant. <laughs> a 45 year old man pregnant right before your very eyes. That's the trick, Jemaya. That's the trick. I have uh, a few questions. First of all, the pregnancy happens. Uh, how do people know? Are you gonna pee on a strip? Pass it around? <laughs> <laughs> that technology exists, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if I can uh, make a horse leg appear where your other leg was, I should. Drop the horse leg, Jemaya! What is it with you and horse legs? I just, you know, I love horses and I want their legs. <laughs> I want their legs so bad. They make a cool clown when they walk. Yeah, I mean, when they trot, it's like a clip flap. It's cool. I just would love to be the guy walking around the street going, Oh, or okay. a cesarean. Let's not do cesarean. Okay, cesarean's out. I give birth on stage. Okay, so Houdini you're... gives birth on stage. When that's, I don't. That's different than just Houdini gets pregnant. Well, okay. Houdini, gets previously pregnant. pregnant, gives birth on stage. Okay. All right. So let's get you pregnant now. <laughs> In nine months, we'll do this show. Okay. And. No horse legs on the baby. Oh. <laughs> Am I clear? You know, it's a, I thought it was good to start him young. Have to call him. <laughs> don't mention that he has horse legs. People come, they just come to see you have a baby. You're 45, first of all, that's a big deal because once you're past 40, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> right here, just right up here. Right on the horse, yep. You want to splay your legs? Yep, there you go. <laughs> all right. Have you ridden a horse before? No, sir. All right. This one's name is Blackie. <laughs> no. It's just a name. Calm down, folks. Calm down. It's just a name. Oh, God. You know, you go, you go with what you see, I guess. Yeah. It's just an all black, black horse. horse. Yeah. I, mean, I guess that's cool. All right. So what you want to do is take the reins there. And let the horse know you, you know, you're in control. Give it a quick 
<laughs> yeah, kiss the horse as you feel it. <laughs> oh, and I did. <laughs> Just give it a swift kick on its side. It's not going to go anywhere, it's in the stable, it's safe. Just, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to hurt black, that's all. Okay. How hard do you, how hard are you supposed to kick it's this horse? It's a swift kick, it's a swift kick. <laughs> Uh, oh, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm black is not doing anything. Why wasn't hard enough? I can't do this. You know, it's like my dad, he, he got me these horseback riding lessons, but I, I feel like it's wrong, you know, sitting on an animal and then making it take you places. It just feels wrong. I'd rather just feed it apples and set it free. Set <laughs> yeah. this horse free. Yeah. You think a horse this low to the ground <laughs> is going to survive in the wild? I mean, it's not technically the wild, it's the streets of Washington, D.C. <laughs> but I think it'd be like a cool social experiment. You know, see how a horse does in our nation's capital <laughs> on its own. <laughs> Tiffany, your dad paid for this horse and the lesson, so... <laughs> Sweet, I got my leg. <laughs> well, that was fast. <coughs> um, I think it's Mr. Jensen. <laughs> I'm sorry, was that an expensive horse? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Peter's really dead. Is it a seance that we used to do? Peter. Our seance is only for ghosts. Please don't let Peter be dead. <laughs> and the rest. <laughs> 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 Everyone comes in here every time I ask that question. You've been having sex, you've been trying, oh yeah, uh huh, fuck yeah. <laughs> nom 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 nom. <laughs> Just say yes. Wouldn't you think if we're coming in here, it's a given that we've been having sex? It's on the form, so I ask it. I have to. So you've been having sex? Yes. Yes. We would like to have children. I don't need any backstory. I don't need any <laughs> certain cadence to hint at types of foreplay. I'm not giving you any of that. It's all. I, I've 
I know everything. By the way you presented it, I know everything. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? What do you know? What do you he think? comes home at 10.30. He's brought roses. He takes a single <laughs> rose and he drapes it across your chin. <laughs> you bite the rose and then fall to your knees. He falls to his knees and you guys start to choke each other. <laughs> That's when his jacket comes off. You start to do the rumba around him while he gets naked. He wasn't wearing underwear, so he puts some on and then he takes some off. <laughs> <laughs> then you get up, he picks you up and starts to curl you like you're a set of weights. You guys mouth kiss for a while. He spins you upside down like a whirly wheel, grabs you by the waist, one single thrust, and he ejaculates. <laughs> Am I close? Peter, is that you? <laughs>
night of birth. <laughs> <laughs> if there are any doubters in the audience, if there are any disbelievers, please give up your seats. The doors that way. No? Or maybe a little more time? <laughs> All right. It's cooking in there. Yes, all right. That's your mind. That's your mind. That's your mind. I helped them get pregnant. <laughs> don't, don't say it like that. Not with my penis. <laughs> you may be wondering, Harry Houdini, ah, Harry Houdini, why are you wearing this enormous dress? Well, it's to hide. My stomach. And horse legs. <laughs> and horse legs, yes, my baby has horse legs. Horse legs, Houdini, he's running around. Now you might be wondering, Harry, you're saying to yourself inside your head, Harry, couldn't that just be a bunch of putty? With a baby colt inside? <laughs> Good. <laughs> What's your name? Adam. Adam? <laughs> Touch my pregnant belly. <laughs> Feel it kicking? It's kicking? Oh, Have we met before? <laughs> From Adam's mouth to her <laughs> Now, for the birthing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ladies, do this. <laughs> I should add that the horse legs do go all the way up. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about, you know, burning your eyes. You're watching a, a horse vagina. <laughs> Bringing back Houdini's horse leg trick. It's a sign. <laughs> 